very much, gentlemen. We also went out to ask other people, like other Ghanaians, what they think about the issue. We set up the question on our WhatsApp platform and some responses coming up. Someone else had a totally different concern. Let's hear him out. Yeah, straight up and down. This is the one and only Achi Palago, aka Tintimai. Hey, Frofo Tinsembi, because we're on Facebook, I'm a time too much. Hey, over here, no Beatro, type Amy if you think Jesus can heal you. Fine, okay, and yeah, it's cool. We'll be obeying him, say, oh, GD on Yakupom. Now, but here, not dollars, baby, baby, not a caption, you're trying type Amy and receive these monies in your pocket. Salah wedi eye John like Kurana Frofosi Malata fo bi so nya daje type Amy no a wo to na na sika na be go boto ma na isen ana ka se nyakopon asem o ka se o boade o boane o boane na isen mo pe bibi nye na mo nya sa mo te fa ko type type Amy na ten ah yeah mozo o bi so apostle accident pictures na caption o se type RIP ah na wo se ni pana o o o o post to say you know fa so be na o be nya fa ho e wu mu asem and now to editorial license. I take license this week to speak against a disturbing trend of daylight robbery committed in Ghana in the name of God. Social media is awash with clips of so-called men of God uttering what would be considered abominations by some well-meaning folks. The disturbing part really is the applause that these sacrilegious utterances draws from the flock. One particular man of God has been giving the British High Commissioner sleepless nights, not so much with his wardrobe as with his utterances and claims. The British High Commissioner has openly mocked claims by Daniel Obinim, leader of God's Way International Church, that he can not only turn into different animals, but he can actually barge into the central bank to take money out for redistribution to his flock. Mr. John Benjamin, take a joke. Have fun. Get used to Ghana. Post with Shatawale. Try out some fufu or kelewele. As for the spiritual matters, there's little you can do on Twitter to change the minds of Bishop Obinim's flock. Maybe you can try one of those vans they use to sell herbal medicines. That might make the impact. My name is Kwesi Eson Barakon. I come in peace. I come not to please. Thanks for watching. See you next week.